I didn't expect that. Um, but um, all tons of credit to UConn. Um, I, I thought that um, we were in a good spot at half, uh, especially after the slow start. Um, I thought Klingon dominated the first half uh, with his defensive abilities. Um, we we um, obviously came out in the second half and got blitzed. Um, got some got some decent looks. Kind of felt like we were doing some of the things we we've always done, but uh, um, you know Donovan made good blocks. Uh, and then they do what they do. They got out in transition, turn some of those blocks, turn a few turnovers into into layups. But um, uh, give them credit. I'd be uh, I stink at these um, and and end of the season deals. Um, Twenty nine wins, Big Ten championship, uh, Elite Eight. Um, I don't want one person in this program um, that, that's had anything to do with our men's basketball program to remember it about this game. Um, what an incredible season. Uh, they took a coach on a ride that was so fun. Uh, it's the funnest group of guys I've ever been around to coach uh, in terms of enjoyment, the professionalism, their, um, their achievement. Um, you know, it's very hard to win 29 games in college basketball. Um, this team did that, playing the, the schedule that we played. Uh, today wasn't our day. We're a game short of the Final Four. Um, but, um, you know, getting to the Elite Eight is not something that we're going we're gonna, to uh, just forget about and blow off. That's quite uh, a successful season. Um, Coleman's been with us four years, won an unbelievable uh, unbelievable season uh, that he's had, an unbelievable career. Marcus has been with us a year, so we've got the, the gamut. The guy that's been with us four, the guy that's been with us one. Both of them all league players. Um, both of them as good a people as they are players. Um, Marcus came in and, and was was everything and more that we thought, we, thought he would be uh, when he transferred in. Um, the same from Quincy, the same from Justin. Um, and obviously, um, you know, Terrence, um, you know, being a part of that, um, I just, uh, our young guys, I feel great about. But um, great, great season, tough ending. Um, but, um, man, I, I, I'm just, I'm so blessed. I mean, I'm truly blessed that I got to coach this group. And, it, and today wasn't what any of us expected. Um, but that being said, I'm, 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 I might be the most blessed person in college basketball today. Thank you, Coach. We'll take one here in front. Yeah, Coach, obviously not the ending that you wanted, but do you feel like the program turned a corner, this year, especially with the late season run, and that you've put yourself in a position where you can continue to build, whether it's through the portal or high school recruiting? I thought we turned the corner in year two. Uh, I think we've been the winningest program in the Big Ten the last five years. I think we're one of five high major programs that have won 20 games in for five years, four or five. Um, I think we've turned the corner a long time ago. Um, this is a great program, and we're getting guys like him out of the portal. We're getting guys like him out of high school. Um, we, we've got another great recruiting class. We'll. We'll, uh, we'll continue to add guys we want. And, and um, you know, I, I guess are you asking, sh or should we slip? Um, shame on you. You've been around me five years. Hell, we're not going anywhere. Next. Jeremy Warner, Line Enquirer. Coleman and Marcus, how will you remember this year? And how do you hope it's remembered from the fan base? Uh, I'll remember this year as, you know, uh, uh, I feel like, uh, a senior year where, I, uh, you know, I kind of showcase what I can do, uh, personally. And then, you know, as a team, uh, I, th I think just the, the, the fun we had, like, I feel like the teams before were a lot more serious 
and this team, like, we can go out and just have fun and, like, you know, still practice hard, play hard. Like, I don't think we, me personally, like, I don't think we've had a bad practice this year. Like, I, I feel like, Agreed. you know, we, we, like, like sometimes we dread doing certain things, but we still go out and do it as hard as we can. Uh, we've had a great year uh, filled with great people, and it was just a, a fun group to be around. And, um, you know, it's there was no clicks. There was nothing like that. It was just everybody's always included. Um, and, uh, you know, I hope to, you know, I hope that same, that same feeling goes in the future. You know, I want to stick around with this group and, and have fun with this group you know, for the rest of my life, so. Yeah, I mean, same for me. Just the the joy that this group has brought me. You know, I've just had a lot of fun in my last year at college. So, I mean, just just joyful. Thanks, fellas. Right here? Yep. Uh, Noah Cowell, NBC Sports. Uh, Coach, uh, what was your, your message to the guys in the locker room after such an incredible season ends the way it did? Well, there was a lot of tears. Um, Man, I, you know, I'm, I'm very, very emotional both ways, and and uh, thank our staff. Um, there's a there's a there's a lot of people around this program who've uh, tried to help each and every one of these young guys become the best they can be. Um, I think there's um, um, no nothing that should allow them to have their head down, feel uh, you, you won 29 games, you played in the Elite Eight. Uh, you, you were a part of a Big Ten championship, um, and um, you know you, you got to do it in front of a bunch of very passionate fans and a bunch of people. I mean, it's not just players and coaches in tears. There's a lot of support staff and people that were that they got really close with this group and and uh, uh, got to go along in the ride that they gave us. So, um, you know, it's it's. Um, like I said, I'm the most blessed coach in America today. I, we lost the game, but being able to coach guys like this is is what is what drives you, and it's what it's the reason I started doing this. Right here to the right, Brian, Brian Teague, Seals from Sports. Uh, this question is for Brad. Brad, can you just speak to just what it means to you and just the program to have a guy like Coleman just hanging there with you guys for these four years? Yeah, it's what this thing's supposed to be about. You know, and I'm not knocking Mark because he transferred. I mean, Mark spent four years, but it's 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 going through the the growth and the, you know, it's it's it, it's the um, the process of you, you get them as a boy and they leave as a man, and and hopefully along the way there's some you know some life lessons learned, not just on the basketball court, but his development on the basketball court speaks for itself. I don't need to uh, I don't need to talk about that. We're not here if it's not for him. Uh, you know he's been a stabilizing force in our program, and and uh, um, you know not just as a player, but uh, you know as a as a guy in the locker room. So uh, you know, high character, tough, resilient, um, and really good. Back right, Coach uh, Steve Buckley from the Athletic. Uh, you guys fell behind early. You came back. You fought back the whole first half to tie it. And that's when things went amiss for your team. Besides X's and O's, during timeouts, what do you tell your players to keep them motivated, to keep them in the game, to keep them focused on cutting in on that lead? Yeah, and it was it was more about the uh, fact we ju we've just been doing this. You know, we got down double digits in three Big Ten games, and and it was just you know it was staying positive. It was it was it was. Not as much problem solving. I, like I said, I thought we were getting the same shots we've always gotten, and and uh, you know, Klingon erased a few of them. We 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 missed some opportunities to shoot some threes, but um, you know, again, it was all about staying together, being the the team that we've always been. And uh, again, give them credit. It you know, I think we ran out of gas a little bit. It it was. Um, you know that's no excuse, uh, but uh, you know just keeping this group in a in a in a in a positive light and and keep them trying to believe we could do anything because we did it all year. Thanks so much. We're gonna take two more. Go ahead. Derek Piper, Atlanta Inquirer. This is for Brad. There's a stat that you guys were 0 for 19 on shots challenged by Donovan. Are you comfortable with the way that you attacked him? Would you like to? You maybe just said there shoot more threes and space him out. How do you evaluate that? He's good. He did his job. He's good. He, that's why he's a. I mean, doesn't everybody have 
projected in the lottery or close to it. Um, yeah, I, you know, he, he does a great job of protecting the rim. And, and uh, you know, we talked at nauseum about spacing them. And, um, you know, yet, uh, you know, you got a two-foot jump stop. Marcus got some good booty ball stuff early. Uh, but, uh, again, give him, a lot, give him a lot of credit. Yeah, it's, it's you, got a, you got an elite guy back there. Take one look back left. Brad, apologies if this was already asked. The moment you had with Terrence when he came off the court, what, what was your message to him? It looked like you gestured up to the fans or directed him to kind of take in that moment. I don't know. That's between he and I. <laughs>